Saturday from 10 to 3. You can even apply for a passport right then. Now that you got your passport, it's time to fly, right? Well, airline travel can either be a great experience or the worst, especially when it comes to flight delays. But what rights do you have when this happens? Natalie Gomez found out. Air travel is a means of connecting you to those you love, important business meetings and getaways. But sometimes a flight delay can make it all go wrong. Pretty much we just sat there for, it was a three hour delay because of the weather. There are three major reasons for flight delays. The first one is maintenance. Sometimes an aircraft develops a, a mechanical issue that prevents it from either leaving or getting here to begin with. North Dakotans know this one very well. Weather. Aviation is weather dependent and sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate and for safety reasons airplanes can't uh, take off or land. The third reason flights get delayed is traffic in the air. A lot of areas there are airspace issues and that causes airplanes to back up just like they would on a on a busy interstate highway. If this does happen on a flight you're supposed to be on, don't stress because there might be some options for you. Now they can fix a lot of these things themselves uh, by rebooking themselves on another flight. Uh, sometimes the airlines will um, put passengers on a different carrier getting you from point A to B at no cost, but it all depends on a case-by-case -case basis, so be sure to ask the airline what they can do. You know, just your options. Know your options. That's the main thing. But in the end, sometimes things simply can't be changed. Realize that travel's an experience that doesn't always go 100% right, and uh, just kind of roll with it. For KX News, I'm Natalie Gomez. The U.S. Department of Transportation says if your flight gets canceled and the airline offers you a voucher, you don't have to take it, and you can ask for a full